Hello guys, welcome back and it is no secret that every guy wants to have a great hairstyle. We want to look our best not only for others but also for us. You know to give us a confidence boost to make sure we look our best to get what we deserve, whether it's that dream job interview or dream date your hairstyle says a lot about you. So today I'm going to teach you how you can have amazing hair in just 5 steps. Guys if you new here, here men's fashion, fitness, health, trending style, hair care, skin care, lifestyle tips and love tips. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our family. The first thing that you need to start doing immediately is using a blow dryer to shape your hair into your desired hairstyle. If you're one of those guys that have never applied heat to your hair to style it, because you think it's curly then you've never really reached your full potential think about that for a second. Lot of guys still don't know about or maybe they're just as stubborn to try it the difference is night and day and I'll tell you why the heat from the blow dryer makes your hair more flexible. It allows you to temporarily straighten curly hair or add curls to straight hair. It allows you to shape it in a way that you will not be able to do without heat. If you want volume blow dry it upwards. If you want sleekness blow dry it backwards and flatten it out. If you want to part your hair to the right just blow dry it that way and it will stay there. This is step 1 it's easy and it works. My hairstyle improved dramatically after I started blow drying it is insane the difference. It made heads up though it will take you a week or two just to get used to handling the blow dryer. But don't give up it will be worth it don't let that initial frustration keep you from achieving an amazing hairstyle. The next up find inspiration online before your next haircut. Because this is what happens right. You get to the barber you sit on the chair he asks you so what are we going with today? I think it's so important to know what you're going to get so that you can communicate that properly to your barber. So he knows before he even starts touching your hair. You cannot go there and just say take a little bit off the top a little bit off the sides and that should be good. Because then if he does a crappy job there's nothing you can say he took some off the top took some off the sides you didn't give him clear direction. Guys bring your phone with photos or videos whatever it is that you need to show him dude this is exactly what I want alright. I want this hairstyle here maybe I want these highlights here from this guy save those photos on Instagram on Pinterest search hashtag men's hairstyle, hashtag men's haircuts and find the one that suits you best. Not only are you gonna get a much better haircut because of that but also the barber will thank you because you're giving him clear direction and if he messes up then it is on him. Number 3 you can't have amazing hair if you don't have hair. Guys did you know that 2 out of 3 men? Most guys will experience some type of baldness before they're 35. Guys 35 is young I know it may seem like it's a long time away from some of you guys. But trust me time flies and being bald by 35 does not sound fun alright and some start balding. Even way before then in their early 20s I've seen it I have friends balding in their early 20s. It's a very real thing it happens to most guys. Which is insane right but there is a solution and I can tell you right now. I'm not ready to lose my hair. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to keep it on my head. Number 4 This is extremely important a lot of guys don't know about this yet finding the best hairstyle for your face shape. Obviously I told you guys to bring in inspiration on your phone right bring in photos to your barber to make sure that he understands. He or she understands what they're doing and what you want what's your goal. But you can look at other people's hairstyles on the internet all day. But if their face shape is completely different from yours. Then it might not be the best suitable hairstyle for you. You just wasted a lot of time, make sure that you're also looking at your face shape and what's going to suit your best. Face shapes and hairstyles you have to know everything about this. Because it is an amazing topic and trust me, but basically what you're trying to do is this. If you have a round face shape you need to change that and elongate your face shape to make it less round. If you have a really square face shape you're trying to make it a little bit more oval and change things up. So how do you do that well? If you have a round face shape, if you get a bus cut it's going to look even more round. But if you get something that has a lot of volume then you're kind of stretching out your face shape. That's why? You get a quiff with a lot of volume or a pompadour. You know anything that really brings the hair up and elongates that face shape. There are 7 different face shapes and you have to measure your face to find out what type of face shape you have. There's an triangle face shape, a oval face shape, a round, a oblong, a diamond, a square, a heart face shape. So figure out what face shape you have to then decide what hairstyle suits you best. Let me just get this out of the way guys having a round face shape or oval face shape or square face shape there's no bad face shape. Just so you know no matter what you find out there are hairstyles that will suit you really well. To give you a quick example, 
If you have an oval face shape then you might want to try an undercut a brushed up fringe or a little bit longer hair and pushed back kind of like mine here. But pushed back more like this. If you have an oval face shape. But I definitely don't I have a very square face shape. Next up you need to find a barber or hairstylist that you completely trust. If he doesn't get you right. If he doesn't know you, if he doesn't understand your style then you're just sitting on the wrong chair. He's not gonna do a good job. So when you sit down in that chair talk to me hey dude, I dude, I have this issue, I have this cowlick over here my hairline is receding over here. I have very thin hair very very thick hair, I use these types of products what do you recommend? I am thinning I am balding can you tell me? What type of hair do I have your communication with your barber needs to be open man. It's almost it's like a therapy chair. You know you sit there and you're like these are my problems can you please solve my problems for me. You have to develop this friendship you have to develop this relationship with your barber. Because then he's gonna understand. You he knows what you want you show him the photos and he can say dude. This doesn't really suit you. Because this guy's hair is very different than the type of hair. That you have so trust me, it's just not gonna work you need to be honest like that with your barber. So that he can be honest with you in return. Because if you just show up and you're like alright. This is the type of a hairstyle that I want really looks good on this guy he and he tries it on you knowing that. You have very different hairstyles that's not a good barber he's not being honest with you need to find somebody. Who you can be friends with who you can be honest. Guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our family. Thank you guys.